Uh, we've been to numerous spots such as Busan, um, Jeju Island, and in our first very weekend we went to Seoul, the heart of Korea. And it was just amazing seeing how the different markets work, um, seeing what they sold on the streets. Um, we got to go to Gyeongju and Andong. We've been to Busan and we've been to Jeju Island. And uh, we're going to go to Jeonju next weekend, but we haven't been there just quite yet. My favorite place was probably Jeju Island. I really enjoyed the tangerines. My favorite place was Busan because we went on an incredible uh, coastal walk there. It was sort of a hike, but um, I, I think Busan is really beautiful because there is so much urban scene there. there. There's a really big bustling city and lots of people, but you can also find some really incredible nature and temples out there. Um, I thought I had the best of all worlds. My favorite place would have to be Busan, uh, just because there was that beach area and at the same time it's very live um, in the streets. Um, everything was very relatively closed. Um, and then the coolest part about that whole place was being able to go shopping after um, and how many cool uh, souvenirs I was able to buy and shirts and etc. My favorite was Busan. So far it's been Busan. We had a free day there and I was able to go to um, Spa Land. My friend who actually came to this campus, she recommended it to me, so I went to Spa Land, hung out with some friends over there, got to sweat it all out, got to experience the bathhouses for the first time. That was super fun. I actually love them so much. And um, I also went to the crab market there, got to pick out fresh crab and eat it. Super fun. Oh, there was one time a group of friends and I, we went camping, uh, like glamping in the middle of Korea. I can't remember the name of it, but we went, we rented out this Airbnb. It was like in the middle of nowhere. It was just a bunch of farmland in the mountains. We were right next to um, a river and it was super pretty. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite things I have done here so far. And I've learned how compact the country is. It's very, very small compared to the U.S., but no matter where you go, you'll find something completely different, which is really cool. So, yeah. Uh, something I did um, outside of the field trips was a bunch of a group of us that kind of went out and we kind of explored um, Triple Street. Um, and I think it was pretty cool experiencing that. My favorite part would probably have to be the Bupyeong Market. Um, that whole underground, that was my very first time seeing that. I've never seen anything like that. And then especially trying this like, you know, outdoor food and etc. cetera. Uh, something I kind of really learned um, during my time talking to people around here and at the Utah Asia campus was how well people were able to survive in necessarily in different ways. So people would be, you know, some are chefs, some are, you know, business owners, some are, you know, doing something with coupon, whatever it might be. And so it was really amazing seeing a lot of people were able to live without having that necessarily, you know, low minimum wages like we have in the States, which is really amazing to learn about. Um, besides the field trips, I've done a lot of exploring just in the local area, uh, Songdo. Um, I really like walking through the parks on the way to and from school. Um, I've gone and tried a whole bunch of different food out here. Um, and it's, th there's, there's something a little bit more exciting about going out and trying things on your own than, you know, with that structure where you have a tour guide guiding you. Um, so I've gotten the chance to have that kind of guided exploration, but also uh, my own exploration, so. Um, besides the field trips, mostly during the week, I just go to classes and learn a lot because it's a whole semester's worth of classes in 10 days. So there's not a lot of time to do um, any activities from Monday to Thursday, but on the weekends I usually go back to Seoul and explore some new things there. It's a very large city, so there's never a shortage of things to do. The number one experience, um, probably um, going to the beach in Jeju Island. It was very, it was a beautiful beach. There weren't a lot of people there, and the water temperature was really nice. And I love the ocean, so it was a very enjoyable experience. I think that the most incredible experience for me was getting to stay at Jogisa Temple in Seoul. 
and we got the chance to interact with some monks and nuns where they got to taught us a lot, got to teach us a lot about Buddhism and we got the chance to see how individuals pray, we got to see how they meditate and we got to try some of their food and it was an incredible immersive experience and I wouldn't change that experience for anything. The most impressive? Um, I would just say how I guess how willing open people are. I think a lot of people are very friendly. You just gotta be able to burst the first bubble. Um, and people are very willing to help. Like I got lost so many times in the train and just showing my phone was able to really get that help I needed. I would say the transportation system. <laughs> the transportation system and just being in a city like Songdo or um, in Seoul, it's just, it's so, it's so busy. It's so vertical too, because back home everything is just like the buildings are all flat, but everywhere here you're building vertically and it's really amazing to see such tall buildings. It's really cool to see that there's also a lot of life going on underground with like the, the metro or with the underground malls. Those are super fun and I also think those are very impressive. And I'm also impressed with how much this country has grown in such a little amount of time. There's, it's very impressive. I like this campus a lot, it's really pretty. Um, I like how there's a bunch of different um, other campuses or other colleges that are here as well. But uh, this campus specifically, it's a lot smaller compared to the one in Salt Lake, but you get a, a closer um, connection with the people here, with the community here. It feels like everybody knows everyone because of how small it is. But I honestly, I think that's okay. I like uh, learning in smaller settings. I, I really like it. Um, I think this city is very modern compared to a lot of cities around. Um, because of that, we have really clean parks, lots of amazing restaurants that are international. Um, and I, I really like the area because we get the chance to kind of explore in a really safe and uh, very open environment, whereas the city can be pretty cluttered in some areas. It's very open in Songdo, uh, and I really like that. Uh, the surrounding area of Incheon Global Campus makes it really easy to go out and walk and explore on your own. Oh, Incheon, um, where we're at in Songdo, is very nice. It is Triple Street right there, which has a lot of options for entertainment, for food, for whatever you need. Um, the UAC campus is small, but it's nice. We've only had been in one classroom the entire trip so far, so I haven't explored a lot. But the library that's nearby is lovely. Um, the, some of the other, the student lounge was fun when students were here, but now it's summer, so there aren't very many around. Um, I love the Utah Asia campus. Um, it's small enough for you to really get to know the people, but at the same time, since it's located at the Incheon Global Campus, you're also able to meet with a lot of different people who come from different states, and at the same time, really immerse yourself in that culture of, you know, young people like we are, um, you know, that are already experiencing uh, Incheon and, you know, South Korea, we're able to learn from them and see their recommendation. And in very being very centrally located, I think it's nice to grab some lunch on Triple Street, you know, for instance, and then take out some friends that I met at the Utah Asia Campus along with me. Um, I'm majoring in IS. It's only if you take this program and get the minor, then you only have to take like two more elective classes to get the major. So learning that made me think that I wanted to major in it in order to be able to do that. So yeah, this is very relevant to my major. Um, well, one thing that, so I, because I major in operations and supply chain management, um, information systems pairs really well with my major. And so uh, being able to learn a little bit about database fundamentals, um, web application development, and uh, you know, development methodology has been really interesting in seeing how that can couple uh, operations in business. But I think that one of the really cool things is being able to see operations from a global perspective. We got the chance to hear from a company called Coupon, which is often compared to Amazon. Um, they do a lot of delivery in South Korea. And um, hearing about their operations is really incredible. And I think that we have the opportunity to learn about our majors, but from a different kind of worldwide lens. Um, this experience has been amazing. Um, I think let alone being in a different country and getting a minor has been an extreme plus. Um, I've really enjoyed my, my time out here just because not only am I really trying to build myself as a character and you know having my own experience and my own role, but also getting that hyper skill for me to take back within my career is going to be extremely useful. I like uh, walking around here and seeing a bunch of different buildings and a bunch of different um, businesses that are here. 
because the more I learn about them, the more people I meet, like I've met some people that are working for companies here that are from the U.S. and they say that they like it a lot and they're working in careers that I'm interested in. It has opened uh, my mind up a bit, like I would be interested in moving here to Korea to work here. And it looks, it looks like it would be a lot of fun. It's something that I could do for a bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think that it's very nice. I think I would recommend it in particularly, or in particular to people who have a background in coding. I think that makes the classes a lot easier. And to people who are fairly early on in their college experience, like freshman or sophomore year, because I think it's a good way to meet a lot of people. I would absolutely recommend it to anybody who's considering kind of um, expanding their eyesight, I guess, of the world. Um, I think that it has taught me a lot about myself being out here uh, in South Korea for so long, and it's taught me how to interact with individuals from a different culture. It's taught me how to appreciate things more, um, and I would really recommend it to anybody who is looking for an experience that'll change their life. I would recommend this to anybody and everybody, to be honest, um, especially those people who've never had that international lens. Um, studying abroad, and especially three months long, has been something I've really enjoyed and it makes you really learn more about yourself than really about what you're going to learn. Yes, I would definitely recommend this program. It's super fun, specifically for people that are interested in IS. Like if you're thinking of going to be an IS major, go ahead and get onto this program because you're going to get a head start with these classes. And then um, even if you're not interested in IS, I still think it's important to have those kind of skills, especially in a business setting. The world is so technologically advanced now, and it's just going to keep becoming more advanced. So if you have those skill set, have that skills, or have those skills now, then it'll help you later on in the future as you apply for more jobs. So anybody that's willing to learn and explore then you should join the program. <laughs>